The problem is to find all positive integers a, b, and c that satisfy this equation. a over 2 to the power of a is equal to b over 2 to the b plus c over 2 to the c. This was problem 1 from the 2023 China Girls Mathematics Olympiad. In order to start solving this problem, what I thought is just to list out the values of a over 2 to the a for the small values of a. So for example, 1 over 2 to the 1 is a half. 2 over 2 squared is 2 over 4, it's also a half. 3 over 2 cubed is 3 on 8, and so on. Once you've listed the first 10, you might be able to already see some solutions. What you're looking for is two numbers in this list that sum to give a third number in the list. Pause and have a look if you like. If you can't find any, it might help to realise that the numbers b and c do not need to be distinct, meaning they can be the same. And now if b and c are both equal to 4, when we add them together, we'll get a half. So a could be either 1 or 2. And these would be two solutions to the problem. There's actually one more triple that works within these 10 numbers listed here. I won't give it away just yet. But I will give away this, that actually this solution is the only other solution to the problem. Why is that? I mean, how can we be sure that there's not another triple if we kept on listing more and more of these numbers? How do we know, for example, that 17 on 2 to the 17 plus 19 over 2 to the 19 does not give a number in the form a over 2 to the power of a. Well, the thing is that 2 to the 19 is a very, very large number, which makes 1 over 2 to the 19 a very small number. And 19 over 2 to the 19 is still very small, even when compared to 17 over 2 to the 17 or 18 over 2 to the 18. If you were to add 19 over 2 to the 19 plus 18 over 2 to the 18, you would find that you don't even come close to 17 over 2 to the 17. And of course, you're not going to get any numbers larger than that, so it's not possible for this sum to have the form a over 2 to the power of a. And that's actually the key to this problem is that there's only certain values that work because for most values, the smaller number is just too small, that like the sum of the two smaller values is too small to be a larger number in the list. So a over 2 to the a has to be the larger number because it is the sum. So a then is going to be smaller than b and c. If b were equal to c, we already found some solutions of this type above, but let's do it algebraically now. So replacing c with b in the equation, uh, we get 2b over 2 to the power of b is equal to a over 2 to the power of a. We can then probably cancel a 2 from the right-hand side to get b over 2 to the power of b minus 1. Now, looking at that as it is, we can't really have a equal to b because then a would have to also be equal to b minus 1, and we can't have b equal to b minus 1. So what must have happened is that we can actually cancel another factor of 2 from top and bottom. So on the top, we're going to get b over 2, or a half b. On the bottom, when we divide by 2, we're going to get 2 to the power of b minus 1 minus 1. So that's 2 to the power of b minus 2. Setting the numerator equal to the power in the denominator, because a has to be equal to 2 over a, we get a half b is equal to b minus 2. And this does give us the solution b is equal to 4. And if you remember from before, we had those solutions where b equals c equals 4. Um, both with a equals 1, so the triple 1, 4, 4, and with a is equal to 2, giving us a triple 2, 4, 4. Now, how can we prove that there are no other solutions where b is equal to c? Again, it's going to be a size argument. We're going to show that for larger values of b, uh, or larger values of b and c, the sum is just going to be too small to work. To take an example, if b were equal to 6, for example, then when we add um, 6 over 2 to the 6 plus 6 over 2 to the 6, we would get 6 over 2 to the 5, which is slightly larger than 5 over 2 to the 5, but nowhere near 4 over 2 to the 4. So it's stuck between two numbers in the list. And that similar thing is going to happen as we increase larger values of b. The sum which we've found has the form b over 2 to the b minus 1. Well, that is always larger than b minus 1 over 2 to the b minus 1. Okay, it's always slightly larger. Um, but if we compare it to the next number in the list, which would be b minus 2 over 2 to the b minus 2, well, that's 2b minus 4 over 2 to the b minus 1. And if b is greater than 4, then 2b minus 4 is always going to be greater than b. So this number is always larger than our number, 
meaning if b is greater than 4, we cannot have another number in this list and we cannot have another solution. So we've shown that if b is equal to c, the only way that works is if they're both equal to 4. And the only way that works is with the triples 1, 4, 4 and 2, 4, 4, which we showed earlier. All right, next case, what if c were 1 bigger than b? So c were equal to b plus 1. All right, so in that case, this is what the equation looks like. And again, we can use a common denominator. This time, the denominator will be 2 to the power of b plus 1. And on the top, we'll get 3b plus 1. So again, we cannot have these being both equal to a because 3b plus 1 cannot be equal to b plus 1 which means the fraction must be simplified down by dividing through by 2 or some power of 2. In fact, if we just divide through by 2, what we'll find is that uh, b would have to be equal to negative 1. But that's no good because we only want positive integer solutions. Well, how about if we divide by 4? In that case, we'll get 3b plus 1 over 4 is equal to b minus 1. And that does give a solution of b equals 5. Now, c was b plus 1, so that gives b equals 5, c equals 6. And what we'll find is that a then, in this case, is equal to 4, which gives us the solution a, b, c equals 4, 5, 6. Now, this turns out to be the only real other solution to the problem. Um, well, I mean, we can switch b and c around, so to get the triple 4, 6, 5, uh, but they, there's no more solutions other than that. And again, we're going to show that using an inequality. So if you were to add b over 2 to the b plus b plus 1 over 2 to the b plus 1, uh, remember that gave us 3b plus 1 over 2 to the power of b plus 1. But that is always going to be less than b minus 1 over 2 to the b minus 1 for all values of b greater than 5. Now if c were b plus 2, b plus 3 or something um, larger than that, again, the sum is going to be much too small. If c were greater than or equal to b plus 2, the sum of b over 2 plus b plus c over 2 plus c would be less than or equal to this sum, okay, which is equivalent to 5b plus 2 over 2 to the power of b plus 2. But the next number larger in the list, uh, b minus 1 over 2 to the b minus 1, well, that is equivalent to 8b minus 8 over 2 to the power of b plus 2. And that is always going to be greater than our sum, for all values of b greater than 3, which definitely rules out any more solutions other than the ones we already found above. That's it. Nice problem. Well done for sticking with it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave it in the comments. Give it a thumbs up before you go, and have a nice day.